Greetings Cosmos, and welcome back to A2XT2. Let's see access and character profiles, let's have a look at a few. Break. The energetic scatterbrain 20-something year old of Sheet, brother of Sheath, who works as a traveling healer. Unlike his sister, Subject came out of their shared monastery upbringing heavily religious and draws much of his healing and resurrection powers from obsessive dedication to his god. Land. An undead person of unknown age with supernatural abilities to create and manipulate ice. Speaks almost exclusively Mandarin Chinese and doesn't seem to like anyone all that much. She isn't really a part of Sheath's group, but seemed to have been dragged into this universe thing with her regardless. Not too pleased about it. Steve. A mysterious merchant who trades random items for food. Subject creates this researcher out. Pretty sure they k kidnap puppies or something. Do business with them at your own risk. Hootlin. A living elf who considers, her considers herself an expert on fashion despite not actually being able to see because it takes one to know one. In exchange for serving as her eyes, Subject allows various friends to live inside her as her roommate. Deliverance. A delightful colony of ants that tirelessly run a package delivery service. One part of the service involves returning power-ups and mounts that have been taken from people by the mysterious cosmic force colony referred to as the Level Filter. Oh, that's where they get their stuff. Okay, well, see you at the map. And I'm back. Alright, time for Hazy Maze King. Caution, this level's a doozy. I guess this might be all I'm doing today, then. Hello, friend. Heading deeper in this cave, I see. Listen, this part of the cave is filled with highly toxic gas. If I were you, I'd take this corn with you. As everyone knows, corn is a natural repellent of toxic gas. That's a bit odd. Thanks, I guess. Yes, well, anyway, have this... Anyway, this is the only corn I have, so don't lose it. Good luck in there. Warning, toxic gas was detected beyond this point. Entering is not re recommended. I'm not sure why you're reading me when I told... When you were already told what I said. Oh, hey, this music sounds highly Donkey Kong-ish. Donkey Kong Country, life in the mines. Yeah, I associate this with uh, that frog, Winky. Oh, that is fascinating. Oh, I have an air gauge, so I don't immediately succumb to talk. And all the enemies are wearing masks. Alright. Alright, collecting coins and power ups refills my air gauge. Fascinating. Alright, not gonna what I've seen at this level so far. There was a thing I wanted to talk about. I fr I frustrate myself. So, I keep playing games where there's a lot of grinding. Either optional or because, or mandatory, like just Guy 7. And, you know, I, I'm not a fan of doing a lot of grinding. Even the teeth have protection from toxic gas. Anyway, so I played Disgaea 7, didn't didn't finish all the post-game content because I got bored with all the grinding. Hmm. I'm good at this. So I went from there to Mega Man Battle Network because I was burned out by all the grinding and then uh, immediately started to grind some more and then went from there to let's see I went to Battle Network 3 and then 6 oh that bat was cruelty itself wait what? I didn't send ow I didn't send the corn all the way up to the top and I somehow miss that fact? What am I doing? Okay, so... Anyway. Something, something. Played Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles! Immediately set about grinding! Oh! 
I need to find a game that does not reward my grinding. If everybody doesn't encourage it. So that I can, uh... Something, something. Yeah, so that I can do a thing. So I can play a game without getting burned out on playing the game. Okay, this is a pretty generous... Aha! Really? Oh, well, whatever, the thing is here. What was I? I was saying a thing and I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, grinding. Hazard of spikes ahead. Try not to get impaled. No one wants to see that. Oh. Yes! Ah. Okay, so. Oh, good. Power up. Anyway, yeah. I keep optimizing the fun out of games that I'm playing. Look at those bunnies with their grass. It looks like I'm supposed to get there from the left side, but, uh... Hmm... Well, I did say this was a maze cave. I mean, the way they said it was maze in terms of corn, but... Oh, what? No corn? Excuse me, Susan. For seeming the arbitrary reasons corn is forbidden beyond this point, please toss a vegetable somewhere else and I can let you through. Now I go through here instead. So, that part of the cave is free. Really? I need to make sure that the corn actually gets where I want it to be, and then I can move on. My jump got eaten. I hit the jump button. I hit the jump jump button well before the edge of the platform, but no jump happened. Oh, really? That is upsetting. Okay, that gives me a huge chunk of my meter back. Okay. Okay. I am fascinated by these mechanics where power-ups and coins give me chunks of my air meter back. Is this inspired by Super Mario 64's uh, coins heal you thing? I mean, this is an amazing interpretation of... Really? An amazing interpretation of the experience of that level. There is an air pocket up ahead. Breathe easy. Don't hog all the air for yourself, it's rude. What? Someone else is down here? We've been trapped down here for days. Do you know a way out that's safe? Nope. 
Do you have any real food? I'm sick of eating corn and radishes. I wonder if there's any more f food left in the old corn farm. I hope those two are okay. We sent our friends to find the exit in eggs a while ago, but they never came back. Oh, hey, there's Pal. Me panic? Never. I'm just doing some jumping jacks. Gotta stay fit. Fair. It is important to stay fit. I wouldn't go deeper far here. There's an underground lake down there that's super polluted. Hey, pal. What does this map even mean? It looks nothing like this area at all. It means there is a map here. This door leads to our old corn farm. The cavern got full of toxic gas, so we can't use it anymore. If you really need some corn, you could try going in, but it's pretty dangerous in there. Alright, you can dig up a... Wow. You can dig up buried plants. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go to the corn farm first? Hello, my name is Carl. Nice to meet you. Corn? I don't know anyone by that name. Try looking at the top of the cavern. Interesting. Do those red coins indicate power-ups or something? Oh. Because I need a constant stream of power-ups to survive. Oh, I should have eaten that power-up rather than thrown it at an enemy in order to replenish my air gauge. Oh, thank goodness, a leaf! Haha! I was like, yeah, I'm powered up, therefore I don't need the power up, but... The power up wasn't just for uh, just for power up purposes it was for air okay oh wow that poor ghost is i killed it hey my name is corn nice to meet you what you need to help you need help I'm sort of busy right now, uh, doing grass things. Feel free to take my friend Steve with you, though. He'll be waiting for you through that door. Okay. Wait, did that supercharge my air gauge? Fascinating. I don't imagine that that'll last forever, but... This way is not recommended. I should have actually stopped to read the sign. I don't know why I didn't. This sign says the water here is full of many toxins. Swimming is not recommended. This lake also smells bad. Curse whoever placed me here. These fish have their eyes closed. Okay, so I need to ascend. If I still had a cape, I could confidently make this jump, but... never gonna last forever. Okay, so...
Yay, power up. Oh, time to stop playing and continue tomorrow, I guess. Oh, you want a metal cap. Well, uh, this is embarrassing. I seem to have misplaced mine. Sorry, maybe next time. What's in here? Nice. Alright, so... Okay, is there some place I can toss this where I can retrieve it in the future? Of course! I hope it actually gets up there. Otherwise I'm gonna have a bad time. Bonk. Bonk. Well, that was certainly a decision that was made. Oh, good. No, 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 no. I was trying to toss that straight up in the air. I saw the Rao coin in the water. I decided it wasn't worth the risk. That is upsetting. Really? Okay, did make it up there this time. Good. Hop, hop, spin. Bounce. Wait for that to turn back, bounce. No way! Okay, ascend, ascend. Chase after the corn. Excellent dodging there. Okay. Hey, Leaf! Okay, so... Now I can press onward. Hey, Sign, what do you have to tell me? This lift is only used... This lift is used to carry light goods only. No Cyclops, Demons, Turtles, or Human Beings allowed. That means you. Alright, so I need to, uh... Keep myself fed. And, uh, go do a thing. Yeah, my plan there. Execute to perfection. Okay, trying that again. Alright, slide through here, hop, spin, bounce. Wait for that turtle, Goopa, to turn back, bounce. Oh, I wanted to eat that in order to have more... Power, or more air, yes. Sheesh. Ah, really? Okay. Okay, first thing above all else. Okay. Goobat. Descend here.
Pop. Wah. Okay, so. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I'm not going to fall infinitely far behind. That was the end of the uh, line. Alright. I made it. That level wasn't too bad. Kind of a bit long, but with plenty of checkpoints and power-ups, so it didn't feel like it was too long. Oof. Alright. Now I want to check in the Leak Sanctuary to see if uh, I missed anything in that level. I don't remember where the Sanctuary was. Here we go. Hey, you. Okay. Okay, I got everything there was to get. Except a couple of the Rao coins. Alright, join me next time when I visit a green level. I'll see you then.